when we last left off, our intrepid heroes brokered a peace between the hunters and the band of wargs headed by the shapeshifter Ekthira. However, to solidify this deal, the man who started their feud, the Huntsman Norman, along with your group, must head out into the deep, dark heart of this forest and find the source of the corruption that has begun to spread out through it. A beast black as night, Ekthira said, with horns like antlers made of shadow. Your quests have taken you north from the hunter's camp towards the ancient ruins of an elven town, one that seemed to have been destroyed by siege long ago. You met uh, Norman's fellow huntsman, Vorin, who turned out to be a hobgoblin, which caused a bit of tension between himself and the seal, uh, before you were rudely interrupted by a group of larimps, tiny little imp-like creatures that love to fill adventures full of eggs. Unfortunately, not the fun kind. Oh. Yeah, it's fine. They're just stomach bursters. So, Save and wipe this. Uh, because we're not playing CSC and D, so everything needs to be horrifying. Yeah. Yeah. So yeah, you dispatched the imps, but, uh, according to Vorn, that's just going to make things worse tonight. Because, as night falls, a mournful bell rings throughout the ruined city, and spirits of the dead begin to rise. And that is where we find our heroes. You have barricaded yourselves into the center of a large but crumbling building. You made camp for the night. But as dusk falls, you hear the ringing of a bell from somewhere deeper into the city. And Shortly, you see Vorin, the hobgoblin, put up a hand to get your attention, and he points northwards, where you can see several shadowy specters beginning to crawl out from the other ruined buildings, making their way out onto the streets. What would you like to do? Clearly, we must uh, do like Shaun of the Dead and pretend we are also spooky ghosts, right? I have a feeling that won't work. No, it's fine. It's fine. We just go, woo. Say, did uh, Vorin ever tell us that, like they were actually affected by like, the physical type stuff? Like uh, He wouldn't know. He has not tried to fight them. He's not stupid. Mm. Well, I don't, I don't mean exactly fight them, but like... No, never mind. What if we just stay I... really, really quiet? Uh-huh. Hmm. So that sounds like you guys might want to make a group stealth check. Man! I, sh I sure do with this disadvantage on me, yeah. Can I get rid of my uh, disadvantage on stealth by turning into a fox and sitting down? I'm not wearing chain. Uh, what kind of armor are you wearing? A <laughs> chain mail. Oh, uh, you could take your chain mail off and get rid of your disadvantage. So you're saying I can't? So you're saying when I shape shift into a fox, I am a fox with chain mail on? Yes, you are a barded fox. <laughs> the fuck? Uh, Saban just doesn't want me to cheese it. I understand. You dick. No, you have fox barding. It's fine. No. I mean, it would have helped anyways, but... Hmm. Rami, cattle don't actually have shifting Wait, anymore, if... do they? 
If I have Fox Barting, that means that I have that same AC even while shifted. You heard it here first, ladies and gentlemen. I mean, yeah. Yeah. Hey, that was a good roll. Yeah. So, Sam and Caffle don't actually have shifting anymore, do they? They do. Oh. Hmm. Hmm. That's right. 16 AC when shifted. Nice. They. Catfolk shifting only makes them into like a more like bestial catfolk. It, it it's fur furification more than like turning into an actual cat. Correct. Yeah, I was just trying to see if it gave me like advantage on dexterity or anything, but uh, it does not. It's Dave Barracks. Uh, where where people? Got All right, five. You just turned into a furry. Yeah, five crew. Oof. I don't know what you're expecting from me. I had disadvantage. I mean, that wouldn't have mattered. I mean, it wouldn't. But shut up, uh, it's my excuse. Alright, oh. Uh, okay, well. Alright, so that's not particularly great. So the heroes get small in their hidey hole here, ducking down beneath the barricades, trying not to be seen, but as you get low, the spirits begin to gather around the bodies of the destroyed imps, and as they catch the scent of fresh blood on the air, One of them lets out a horrific screech. And several of their faces begin to turn, not directly towards you, but towards your buildings, if following the scent of blood on your blades and clothing. Is now a good time to run? I think now's a good time to run. Norman will turn you. Run where? We're surrounded. Mm. I could just burst out the south wall. I mean, do they go beyond the village? Look to Voron, do they go beyond the village? Never seen him do that, but well, sounds like our best bet. Unless you want to get into combat with spirits, I suggest we start moving, and I will make moves to start going down through the south, trying to get out. Okay, well, make a stealth check because there are definitely spookers, uh, like trying to enter the building at this point. Okay. Ah, 13, uh, uh, 7. Ooh. You accidentally clicked twice. Alright. So, while Lucille's doing that, uh, do the rest of you guys want to be following her, or are you going to try and bunker down here? I'm just going to flutter up to, um... Second story. I'm Zil. just gonna take advantage of having wings. I'm sorry. Zill just flies away. Alright, and the rest of you. Um, vengeful spirits, you say? Is there a Downstairs. Uh, you guys haven't really searched this place. Uh, why don't you go ahead and roll an investigation check to see if you earlier on noticed uh, some sort of stairs leading down. I am so smart, guys. You definitely my... have not found a downstairs to this place yet. Okay. Okay. 
can we hide in the rubble? Everything is rubble here. Yeah. yeah. Wait, I've seen Outlast uh, playthroughs. Is there a uh, is there a locker we can hide? Yeah, there's loads of rubble and probably like some chests and shit. Clearly, we should hide. Right. And then I will make another disadvantage stealth roll. Yay! Oh, hey, so that's pretty good. All right, I will hide in. You can move your token to somewhere in the building. I'm in rubble. Look nice. at me. Shh. All right. So. Aelin, what would you like to do? She's going to give the ground floor a little sweep over, quick glance, and then try and find something like... Maybe she might see some stairs at a quick glance, uh, but if she doesn't, she's just going to try and hide. Yeah, you see some stairs over here, but as the pixie points out... Uh, the building is fairly collapsed. You're looking at a lot less real estate to work with up there. Still for this. Alright. God Not damn it. Quite. So you're like moving on towards the stairs trying to find somewhere to hide. I think Norman and Vorin. Yeah, Norm's gonna try and follow Lucille out, so he's gonna make a stealth check. Alright. Alright. And Vorn, you're gonna try and hide in the rubble, cause that's your jam. Fucking disappeared. Alright. And now we find the real metal of our party. So, Lucille. As you are trying to make your escape from the building, you hear another banshee-like screech from this spirit, and you get a good look at it as it f tries to force itself into the building, just pushing ectoplasm and spirit matter between boarded-up windows. It looks like an elf, uh, certainly, though it's outline is hazy and indistinct flesh ghostly and pale and it seems to have been wearing armor at some point though that's as ethereal as it is now glorious silver chain and helm now burnt black and tattered it wails and lunges towards you and Aelin you find much the same treatment as you near the stairs, a pair of hands grab at you, shattering some boards over a window as the creatures begin to push themselves inside. Uh, would everyone who isn't stealthed and would like to just, you know, wait this out and watch your friends get slaughtered, roll initiative. Oh boy. You know what initiative is? It's also an ability check. Sure is, Chief. Which my mouse just suddenly Oof. clicked twice, and I realized that I didn't have myself clicked. My mouse has been doing a really bad thing recently, where it just double clicks by itself. Oh no, NPCs. This is fine. Alright, is everyone on the ward who wants to be? I mean... I, I think so, right? I think in that everybody? Yeah, everyone's on the board. Okie dokie. Wait, no, Lucille's not on the board. Uh, yeah, I said like I accidentally uh, right. didn't click myself. There you go. Try again. Okay. Give me one second to just change my uh, mouse speed double click so that way maybe it doesn't just right. automatically double click everything. All right, Aelin, you're up first. All right, she is going to go way back scared to get into the center of the room, and she is readying her bow and going to shoot at the first little ghost thing she sees. 
Okay. I have the casting hunter's mark. Which one do you want to cast mark on? Because you do have to do that on your turn. Sounds good. Choop. Alright. Well, conveniently, that's the first spirit that pushes itself into the building. So yeah, you take a shot. Blammo. Well, your arrow doesn't seem to do quite as much as you might have hoped, but the hunter's mark uh, certainly hurts the creature. You can feel the magic penetrating. And that's the end of her turn. Alright. So what's your speed one? Four. Alright, this creature is going to force itself through the rubble and try and come after you. Uh, however, there is so much rubble and debris in the way that it's not quite able to get at you without double moving. So, on the other hand, one, two, three, four, five, six. This creature is not able to attack Lucille, but this one is. Oh boy! Does a 14 That's hit you? 14 meets it exactly. Alright, so this thing grabs at you and sinks its claws into your shoulders. And you can feel the life force withering and draining out from you. Ouch. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. And there's a clear shot to get in here at Aelin, so it will do so. Does 13 hit you, Aelin? No. One, two, three, four. Let's see. Actually, this thing is probably going to go upstairs. So, three, five, and then it's going to try and just lunge at Z. Sixteen for five? No. Alright. One, two, three, four, five. This one isn't able to get in there and it just kind of stumbles over uh, the hidden folks. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Much the same just there. These creatures are pulling themselves into the building throwing rubble away, searching for life to end. The seal. You have some friends. <laughs> I'm in danger. Just a touch. Well, let's try and do something about this. So the one that hit me, I'm going to try and hit back. Okay. We're, 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 we're nope. standing and fighting. Apparently. So, uh, 24 for 7. Yep, uh, so once again, you don't feel that your blade's done as much as you might have hoped, but yeah. uh, do you have a, an offhand attack? Yeah, it'd be the same as uh, the second one there, All right. so uh, 21 for 9. All right, you have, you're, you're a fighter with a two weapon, so yeah, uh, that is indeed enough. Uh, your second strike, again, feels relatively anemic, but it is able to thrust through this thing and destroy it. It putters, screams, and then disintegrates into so much spirit, dust, and ash. Mm -hmm. uh, I can't really do anything else, because if I move, I'll take an opportunity attack from it, really. Mm -hmm. But you, actually, you know what? I can move five feet down this way, just in case any of them try to get closer. You can. Yeah, and that's it for me. All right, Sif, you got uh, uh, friendos all around you. I guess we're standing and fighting then. I will uh, burst out of the rubble in a red because no one expects the Spanish Inquisition. Boom! What is your job? Who are you attacking? Nope. Doesn't matter. 
<laughs> Wait, you have advantage because I didn't see you, so. Oh, yay. Which one are you attacking? Uh, f fuck. Uh, good question. I guess I'll attack the one on the left. Okay. So, yep, you thrust your blade into it. Again, it just seems to cut away spirit matter. Well, half ineffectual. Z. Impotent undeadly boys! No, who stands against you? Z, the great and powerful! Oh no. Alright, uh, you hit. And I'm just going to flutter up to, like, a uh, limit of his reach, so none of the others can really get at me. Alright. Uh, let me just move you here so you're, you're, like, only in contact with this guy. Okay. Sounds good. Alright. Norman... Uh, Lucille, you look like you got this, so he's gonna come over here and sneak attack. Chop. He brings his axe up, and he brings his axe down, and there's no more ghosty boy. Hey, Saban. Yeah? The rules, uh, the, the way this is written, it doesn't state whether or not I can, uh use my protection combat style before or after you declare it just says i can use my reaction to impose this advantage so does that mean that i can wait to see if it actually hit yeah to use protection uh, okay. i think so and then choose okay i'd say it rules like that much easier for it yeah especially uh... considering the speed at which i usually move through combat uh Trying to just interject. I mean, uh, 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 protection is just going to be annoying for everybody. So, yeah. Yeah. Alright, so that's Norman. He smacks a boy down. Vorn will attempt to do the same and finish off the thing that Sif is fighting. Alright, hey, that's exactly enough. The ghost is torn asunder. Aelin. She is going to drop her bow and decides to test out the new rapier she's gotten, so she is going to poke a hole at the spirit she has marked. Alright. Alright. You run the spirit through. And resistant or not, that's more than sufficient. And then she's going to use her bonus action to move her mark onto the one next to it. Sounds good. That's her turn. Alright, Spirit Bros. This guy's going to try and go after Lucille. Rawr. Yeah. Alright, the marked guy is going to go after Aelin. Rawr, no. This guy up here on the second floor is going to go after Z. Oh, uh, well, yeah. No, nah, you got dire groped. And this one's going to come in here and... Let's play eeny, meeny, miny, mo here. Alright, he's going to go after Vorin. Uh, and miss. So, Warren's old, ratty Imperial male manages to protect him. Lucille. Okay. I'm going to start off with an attack, and we'll see where I go from there. And I will use my bonus action to second wind. Okay. Nice. Good choice. Sif. And... Shu -shu -shu -shua. What? Why does this have, like, a spinny wheel icon on it? 
Uh, because uh, it's marked. marked. Which oh. I should really uh, unclick my mark, really, because that, that warlock is gone. Oh, yeah. All right, you going up to the mark line? I love, I, I love, I love my damage. One damage! I'm helping. All right, you and help. One damage, is, it, uh, it helps. That's one less hit point than it had previously. Don't you patronize me. I'll pat you. Z, you're up. <laughs> All right. The spirit's ghostly mail deflects your blow. Don't you deflect my blow. Nobody deflects my blow. Mm. Norman will charge to the building, swing his axe, and it thunks into some wood just before uh, it reaches the spirit. Vorin shall fight the man fighting him. Hit for two damage. Aelin. Oh yeah. That's a very destroyed spirit. Aelin's so good, you guys. Be more like Aelin. Yeah, it's almost as if I made it exactly to counter everything <laughs> that could have possibly happen. Alright, so you thrust through another ghostly boy. Anything else on your turn? Uh, bonus action. Move Hunter's Mark onto the spirit on top of the floor. Okay. Oh, it is the spirit's turn. So this one's going to go after Norman now. No. Alright. Eeny, meeny, miny, mo. Let's go after Vorin again. But oh. what about... I, I Would even deflecting if... I, I guess I'll just use it to try it. Yeah. Alright. I guess I'll... Unfortunately, uh, 15 will still hit him in ring mail. So, oh, well, you interpose I your shield, but the ghost just reaches through it and grabs at Vorin's heart, and you see the flesh necrotize. And then up on the second floor. Hmm. Well, if you have to. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, the spirits grab and grope and sear at your flesh. Lucille. Alright. It's time to stab. One stab. Two stab. Alright, well, the first stab is not enough, but the second one sure is. Uh, he is cut through. And destroyed. Okay. I will step slightly up. Come on now. Come on. Here, hold on a second. There we go. I can move, guys. Don't worry. My mouse isn't just failing on me constantly. I want to get another one of those. Yeah, I'm in the process of it. Really shouldn't be doing this. It's not even that old. All right. Anyway, that's it. Sif. Yay! Finally damage! <laughs> the Sufficient fucker. damage to kill, even. Swing, you chop the thing's head off. That's what you get for reaching through my shield, you bitch. And Z, locked in a battle to the death with the dead. Disengage! Run away! Fuck you! Fuck this guy! Inspiration! Fuck me okay. yourself, coward. Sad right. spree. That's enough. You thrust him through, and the spirit turns to ash and dust and seeps through the floor and onto the ground level. And for a moment, things are quiet. The ringing of the bell and the distant wails of the damned can be heard through the town, but the immediate threat has been stopped. What do you do? 
So do we want actually you know I'll just move back to the group a little bit here. So do we want to take our chance with a round two of them or do we want to try and get out of town before they come again? We could try to uh, set up camp at the edge of town or at least a building at the very edge and uh, take turns doing watch. We are at the edge of town. I'll just well, gesture to like, the town the gate edgiest... town is it the uh, edgiest edge? I mean, I'll no? just gest I'll just gesture to this like town gate over this way. <laughs> I, I wasn't here for the last hour of the last session. Leave me alone. You were here for the first hour, and that's when we introduced like the sound. No, no, I never we, even we came not. into this. No, uh, this, this is came... literally like the first building you got to in town that you haven't moved past yet. Yeah, I had no part of the build uh, of us going here. In fact, I left before Norman went to go talk to the wolf. Yeah. Okay. Right. Right. Sorry, my mistake. So what I'm hearing is bunker up outside of town. Well, supposedly they haven't left town that uh, Voron there has seen. Or so. find a basement. Either way, I guess I'll just go and, uh, soldier carry Vor- Wait, wait, wait! Vorm hasn't finished being mucked yet! What? Just gonna point at Talem. What? Why? 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 I don't know, I guess it's time to mug the Hobgoblin. <laughs> Why is any of this happening? Mug the Hobgoblin, you say? <laughs> How did I know that would catch your attention? I mean, I'm not going to stop her. I mean, I... Guess we'll see where this goes because Hoff is typing and not talking. Drove thirty help. <laughs> yeah, now Vor we Vorm will wave his hand off and say, "I'll live. I just need some rest." And I will soldier carry Vorin, and we'll get out of here. All right. See, so yeah, you guys can move on out to the edge of town again. Pitch camp. We don't have any of your kind where I come from. Very interesting looking. Hey, you're not bad yourself. Say, where do you come from again, Sif? I come from the land where the snow never melts. And she'll just point to the north. Would have liked the actual name, but close enough. I may just have to go and move up there. I that's know. that's literally the name, and she'll say the land where the snow never melts in uh, Sylvan. Ah, yes. Sweden. Basically, yeah. Hmm. Sweden. Okay. Half the year the sun never sets, and half the year the sun never rises. That puts a damper on possibly living up there. No, it's fine. The giants are nice. I mean, that's fine, all but I like having each day to lounge in the sun sometimes. I must admit, I am quite enjoying my journey to the sun. You have very exotic creatures here. Also, it's very easy to stay warm. Yeah. I don't yeah. think I can go any farther south, though. It's a bit too hot, even for me. Well, that it's a bit too hot for... Hmm. So, how do you want to do watches? Let's go I'll first. I'll take the first watch. Okay. 
I guess I'll take the middle one then. How many watches do we have, Saving? Three? Three, yeah. Okay. I guess I'll leave the last one for me. Alright. So you guys take your watches, set camp as stealthily as you can, and the night passes, relatively speaking, uneventfully. You continue to hear the bell every 20 or 30 minutes chiming in all through the night, but when the first rays of the sun crest the horizon, the bell stops suddenly, mid-peel, and all the wailing vanishes. Silence reigns over the town once again. Well, that sounds like our cue to go back in. Only got so much daylight we can burn. Dead silence. Great. I was typing something. I am a full health, so I don't I don't really need uh anything. Surprisingly enough, this character doesn't get hit as much as every single other character I've ever played. Now that I've said that, nothing but twenties, but still. Anyway, uh, I'm saying we should probably hurry through town, find out the source of that ring, and see if we can't stop it during the day. We only have so much daylight before the night comes again, and those things come back out, apparently. Yeah! Sing to the bell. Kill the bell. Or kill the bell ringer. Or purify the bell. Or purify the bell ringer. Or... Some combination of bell, bell ringer, kill, purify, kiss. I don't know. Yes, I get the rough uh, meaning of what you're going with, but yes, to the bell. I'll start walking in. Hopefully, the people will follow me. All right. And just make sure this next map's dynamic lighting is working. And I'll drag y'all on over. No, not you, Puka. You're in gay baby jail. Let's see. And yeah, with a with a seven sif uh, vor, and we'll pat your tails. Say you're very pretty. Mm. Saving, why you make me roll? I don't know. Why I mean, he's I? a hobgoblin. Surely he just wants to mount it. Clearly. Well, maybe he's a gay goblin. You don't know. Don't judge him. Oh, uh, well, that's no, true. That's there's true. No, maybe there's he's no gay goblins. What the hell are you talking about? I, it, it is totally within lockstep for an army of big, beefy, masculine men to enjoy mounting each other. Have you ever seen the Greeks? Listen, as far as my knowledge on Hobgoblin goes, there is no gay goblin. They just go ahead and rape everything. Including, slash, especially each other. Yes. They're vile, despicable creatures. It's true, though. I mean, I as a player agree, but I as a character doesn't know what a hobgoblin is. Don't worry. I'll educate you on it. Alright. Speaking of hobgoblins, Warren, where's your token? There you go. Alright. So. The town itself is... Rather peaceful, with no undead meandering through it. There's nothing to oppose you, making your way towards the church in the north part of town. Off, wait until the DM is done. No, that's fine. 
Not like some people who get real butt mad about it. Alright, everyone, so, I guess you're using all your hit dice. So, Savin, what's this small building here? This is like a little... Come on, ruler. Mouse, come on, there we go. Uh, that looks building. like a mausoleum. A, yeah, it's a mausoleum. And the door okay. has been sealed shut tight. And as you get around there, Sif, you can see that there's a another door into the church here, like a little rector's room, maybe. Hmm. I'm guessing this is a southern place of worship, then? Um, yeah, it's a church. I don't know to which god it is. Uh, is there actually any discernible markings for, like, what god's church is to, or...? Uh, not from the outside anymore. Uh, it's too badly damaged. The steeple you can see rising up, but any iconography on it has been crumbled to dust and burned away. You do, however, f even from this distance all the way down on the bottom, see the bell in its tower hanging there limply. Hmm. Well, let's uh, check... Check inside this, uh, oh, come on. Nope. I thought that was a door, it's not. Come on, mouse, you should work with me. Should we be breaking into someone's mausoleum? I don't think so. Well, it seems wrong to disturb the dead. But surely a place of worship is a place that's meant to be entered, correct? Well, uh, normally, come on, mouse. Yes, I but... checked the handle. All right, uh, Sif, it seems unlocked. However, uh, there is some resistance on the other side. Not insurmountable, you feel, but enough to let you know that somebody tried to barricade it. Hmm. Maybe someone was trying to protect themselves from the spookums. Maybe there's someone still alive. Well, then, let's A wandering... Not uh, wandering party, perhaps? There are uh, missing holy men in this area. Maybe they came here for shelter. Let's find out. Knock, knock, open up the door. Alright, make a strength check. Oh boy, I love strength checks. I will assist. Okay. It didn't matter. Alright. Knock, knock, open up the door. It's real. It's a spirit. Yeah, uh, no, we, I can't see. Oh, okay. So from where I'm standing right here, yeah, no, you happened. can't see fucking oh, anything yeah, no, in there because it's pitch black. Someone yeah, is no, clearly and obviously uh, like it boarded up all the windows in here, so you're blind as a bat when you stare inside, and then you hear a shrieking, and. Honestly, I didn't realize it was because it was dark in there. I thought it was because my token was in a bad position. No, nope, I mean, yeah, the map's kind of a little bit hard positioning-wise. But it's fine. Yeah, it's just a small map. Yeah, it's fine. All right, let's see. I'm clicked. Yeah. 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 There we go. Oh, wait, I have to roll twice because I'm freaking disadvantaged. Yeah. Uh, I hate exhaustion so much. Alright. NPCs. Doot. And... Doot. Guess Mers is AFK for a bit. Yeah, she did say she'd be away for a minute or two. So, Mers dongles. Go ahead. Oh, she's in text for the foreseeable future. Oh, all right. Well, go ahead and no, oh, you did roll initiative. Okay. Shouldn't you have more HP? Oh, uh, you rolled yeah. that bad on hit die. Yeah, she only really got bad. the one. Yeah, she so. rolled bad. Ooh. And she could spend all of her lay on hands points to heal herself up to like eight hit points or ten. Yeah, just stay in the back and belly dance then. Anyway, Lucille, you are up first. 
Avant. Yep. Come on. Yep. Shoulder Maybe. to shoulder warriors. Let's see. Yeah. There we go. Yeah. All right. Avant. Oh. Boop. Oh, come on. Yeah, I mean, they both are it's the same amount of fire. Either way. I All just right. try to differ it out, but whatever. Uh, well, the first swing misses. The creature brings up its helmet and just knocks aside your blade. Uh, do you want to use that second one? Uh, or yeah. I guess any double yeah. any double clicks in future will just be the offhand attack? I mean, I will try to differ it out because the mouse just double clicks whenever it apparently wants when I try to click. Yeah. But yeah. Because usually I try to differ it out like left hand, right well, hand. Yeah, but, but I mean, for in future, yeah. do you want your yeah. double clicks to count? Okay. So, yeah, yeah, might as well. Okay, that makes it easy. Okay, yeah. So the second hit, swing, slices across the thing's chest. Ectoplasm bleeds out, and it lets out a wraith-like scream. Z. All right. Do a drive by. Hit. Destroy. Sif. I'm going to come in here and be the most useful of all. I cast dancing lights. All right. I now uh emanate light for what is this? Here, let me just click the card. Does it include? Okay, yeah. spell card. If you're doing dancing lights, that's like four little things that you can move. Just above my head. Okay. What's the radius on that? It's like. Ah, uh, it's like ten four dim lights. Right? Each light says uh, dim light in a ten foot radius. Okay. Controlled by so. Seth. There you go. You have and light now. You can see that there's a door next to you as well. Yay! How long does Dancing Light last? Up to one minute! Worthless cantrip! I mean, yeah, you get to Oh, well, I guess it is free. objectively worse than the normal light spell. Well, I, I mean, I can basically just cast that for free with a wiggle yeah. of my body. I mean, and plus, there's no one here. Yeah, plus you get four of them, so you can spread it out if you wanted to. Yeah, so but that's like, gonna be really annoying to control. Like, honestly, uh, let me move my token right here. I'd have one here, here, you know, to yeah. um, to maximize my sight, but who cares? I don't want to control for fucking save and why. No, you see everything. You know, I'm willing to bet that there's probably like a spear in that mausoleum that's going to come out and jump the people in the back. I mean, sure, but uh, I still have movement left. Can I just use movement to open door? Uh, yeah, yeah, you can. Uh, this one isn't locked. I open door. All right. Let us continue to uh get the spookums on us. See, there we go. Spookums. I'm helping. Thank you, thank you very much. Yeah, I'm helping. Alan. Okay. Guess it's gonna be a little bit. Difficult off a shot, but she's gonna try and fire an arrow nonetheless. There we go. Boink. No! Alright, uh, does a 13 hit you, Sif? No, I don't think so. All right. No, I have an 18. So yeah, you, you fling an arrow in there and it just pounces off of Sif's armor. Also, Amjol, it would have come through the window, the wall anyway. At least now we know. I mean, all right, I all guess. Right. Rawr. Rawr. I will impose disadvantage when they try to attack Lucille. I all assume right. it's going to be one and one. So yeah, it's one and one. So this one will be on you, Sif. 
hit me in the face Swing. with it. No. This one will be on Lucille with disadvantage. Hey, it helped. It did help. It helped a lot. So yeah, these things come scratching and clawing at you guys, but you manage to push them back. And you can see several more spirits inside the building coming towards you. This is an excellent choke point. Oh, wait, they can go through walls. We don't have anywhere to go! Uh, Vorn is going to take a shot into the room. There's back and there's forward. Because we can't do this. That leaves us in a wall. Yeah, you, you can wedge yourself up there, but also you'd be taking tax opportunity from boys. Yeah. Alright. Normal Norman's going to try and take a shot with a heavy crossbow. Boom. Uh, unfortunately, with all the bullshit in the way, there's enough cover there that that shot's not going to hit. Lucille. Okay. Uh, let's try and stab the one right in front of me. Sounds I feel that's like the, the most prudent option. All right. Double clicked itself, but that's fine. All right. Well, that's two hits. For a destroyed spirit. It crumbles. Actually, wait, no, hold on. Three, four, five. No, it has one hit point. <laughs> uh. See, it's it mostly crumbles, but there's just enough left to hold it together. Keep it in the fight. Z. All right, well, that's a solid hit and destroy. Whoop! Not the not the light. The spirit. Bleh. Sif. Next turn. Womp womp. All right, Aelin. Aelin is going to move back a bit. She's going to ready an action to see if there's the spirit going to move out, but she's not going to deal with this bottleneck situation. Oh, why so she's why not to... just fire something? You're yeah. a ranger. It's your job. All right. And you're, and you're not listening to the ranger, so she's not going to do her job. <laughs> That would require a disengage to get out of there, wasting an entire turn. Alright. Second verse, same as the first. So, I impose disadvantage. Sif. And no. Lucille. Oh, Yay! well, you, you negate a crit. Yeah, you negate a crit. That's good. I'm hoping. Yes. Yes, you are. Mine is three. It's fine. I got seven hit points left. I don't understand why you guys are complaining. This is like the perfect combat situation. Bottleneck. Yeah, this is working pretty good for us, honestly. You have two fighters bottlenecking everyone. This is the ideal situation. Mm -hmm. You've got the one imposing disadvantage. You've got one that's striking twice per turn. And Norman. Just fire missile weapons over our shoulders. It's fine. This is how we win. See, this is how we win. We seal. All right. Sorry about that. I was taking a drink for a second. I will first try and destroy the weakened one. Boop. And if it does get killed, then I move that second attack onto the stronger one up to the north. Yep, that'll do it. So you slash one and then slash the other. That could have been a killing blow if your blade was enchanted, but... Even still, it seriously injures the creature. Z. Hit. Yeah! Destroy. Yeah! Look at that! Look at that! Look at us! See, this is good. Right. No, honestly, two fighters bottlenecking uh, 
one hole is great. Yeah. Sif, you're up. Well, I guess we'll start to disengage if uh, they decide to come in through the walls over here. But if they keep coming from this way, then our our wall is great. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take a defensive stance and wait for them to attack. Okay. Shields up. So that's the dodge action? Yes. Alrighty. Aelin. Just not ready to see if anything moves through the walls here. Okay. Spirits. It's good. Guess it's working out pretty well. All right. I will see. impose disadvantage on their attack with two Lucille. All right. Third verse, same as the first two. Whoop. All right. And whoop. Nope. They fail to connect their strikes. Vorin and Norman. Pew. Pew. Uh, Norman actually manages to land a hit, even with all that cover. It seriously injures a creature. The seal. All right. We're just going to keep at it. Boop. Kill. And then boop. And an injure. And Z, can you finish it? You do not, unfortunately. Ah, uh, one hit point shy. Yep. All right, Sif. Yeah. I don't know why uh, defense, uh, protection fighters aren't as popular as uh, protection fighters. I mean, protection, you get plus one AC. Defensive, it's just uh, slapping things out of the GM's hands. It's great. Fifteen for nine. All right. Which is fifteen for four. Neato! And you know what I'm going to be doing when the spirits come back around. Alright. Aelin, I assume, maintains. No spirits enter your line of sight. Vorn and Norman ready. Lucille. Well, I don't think they're going to keep coming towards us. I think it's time to avaunt the darkness. If we just if you just step forward into the thing, we can keep the bottleneck up. So if you just step forward just enough so I could step right next to you, so move ten feet then defensive. Yeah, like uh uh then dodge, I mean. Yeah, you want like um yeah, come on. The square like the square here or where you Yeah, thinking? yeah. We can we can create our own little bottleneck here. We just uh, it, we, we advance the phalanx is what I'm saying. Alright, yeah, yeah. Let's advance the phalanx and I'll move to here, I guess. Alright. Ah, suddenly a lot more of things vision. Yep. And I will take a dodge action. So yeah, previously you were just in a small, cramped, uh, largely ruined room. Now you're able to see the full church in all its ancient glory. You can see many... Uh, rotten pews down to the south, a uh, stage with a, a lectern on it, then a wall divides it from a back room that has another t uh, long table set out, and then a huge statue of a draconic woman with uh, an expansive chest contained by heavy armor, her arms held out wide as if to embrace you. That's Kalira, right? No, wait. Kanara. Uh, Kanara, right, sorry. You have similar names for Yay, gods. Yay, yeah. the best god, Kanara. Yeah, goddess of hugs. A.K.A. of courage and camaraderie. And motherhood! Ye. She's totally the god I worship. I do too, but I don't call her Kanara. See. All right, Sif. Advance the phalanx. Move here, and then move my lap. 
one. Uh, uh, I... okay. Move one light right here. All right. Yeah. You too can now see a statue of Best Goddess. And then uh, here. And then uh, I can, can only move them to her? places I can see. Okay. So I think it's uh, I can move them. Yeah, you can move all. Let me look at this. Up to yeah, you can. You can move okay, them okay, like okay. sixty feet, I think. Yeah, see? but I don't think I can move one right here because I can't technically see there because there's a wall right here. All right. So, so yeah, you don't seven. see anything else here. So would you like to drop out of initiative? Sure. All right. Oh, well, look. A statue of Kinrin. Kinara. Mm -hmm. uh. Ah, that's what you call her in the south. Mm. Yes. She's got a lot of ghosties in her uh, place of worship. That's not good. Yes, we should uh, get rid of them <laughs> as much as possible. I'm too, I'm too fat. Save and help. What'd you do? I can't yes. select all. <laughs> well, I keep turning into dynamic lighting. I'm just gonna then, put them all in one bundle. Yeah, you, you and can put them on top of my face. Yeah, there, there you go. Yeah, she is uh, quite the dragon lady. You, you see another door over here. I think we should go up. Up sounds like a good idea. That's closer to the bell. So, uh, where do these stairs lead? Uh, up. You to can the bell. see that, yeah, there, ah, you can see that there is a, like, a balcony above you that, uh, looks down, and there's a, uh, actual set of rooms upstairs as well. All right. And, uh, shall we? Yeah, you two can start going up there. Uh, Aelin, you see three offering bowls on this table. Uh, flanked by a pair of silver candlesticks that have long since been covered with dust and the candles have sort of melted away to nothing. Uh, there are various objects in the bowls. Uh, one of them is full of fruits and nuts uh, that have kind of petrified with age. The middle one is full of copper coins. And the far right one is full of small scraps of paper, though they've yellowed and largely turned to dust by now. Actually, you know, before we go up, I'm going to go offer a prayer to uh, Kanara real quick. Maybe. If I can move my token. Thanks. It's a big mm. F. I'd like to... It is a big F. I'd like to watch how you're, uh, you Southeast worship, Kinrin. Do you do? Uh, eat her. Yeah. I mean, you just watch it. Lucille get on her knees and put her hands mm -hmm. between her chest and do a silent prayer. Ask huh. Dragon Mommy to grant us strength in uh, ridding her temple of these ghosties. And she will actually call her Mommy in her prayer. Make a religion check. Oh boy. <sighs> Disadvantage. Don't screw me now. Come on. One of these days. God damn oh it, no! Disadvantage. <sighs> Natural one. Alright. She slaps you. Yeah, you feel that there is a corruption on this place. An unhallowing, perhaps, that has allowed these dark spirits to invade this place. And when you offer up your prayers to the goddess, all you get in return is a cold, dark feeling in your chest. Hmm. Oh no, what do I have now, Saban? What debuff are you put on me this time? Mm -hmm. You still have to find out. I bet it's probably disadvantage on attacks. Why not continue the disadvantage train? You have an interesting way of worship allow me to show you my uh, 
I, I wouldn't. Been... Hold on. Don't, don't. It's, um, it's not good right now. Temple's no. kind of got bad stuff going on. Bad juju. Well, clearly, the, we then need to counteract it. You have the same three plates that we do. So let me see. I will put uh, one strange looking copper coin in one. I will put a bit of food in the other. And then I will apologize. I'm sorry, uh, my lady, but there is no snow here to be found. So I fear I will have to make do with water. And I will pour a small amount of water in the third one. And then offer up my prayer. Alright. You two can make a religion check. Uh, do you have disadvantage for any reason? Nope. Alright. You, on the other hand, feel a warmth spreading from the goddess's gaze upon you. A comforting feeling in these trying times. Hmm. Can I just I'm... say fuck exhaustion? Seriously, fuck exhaustion. <laughs> I'm glad to see that uh, she recognizes uh, my form of worship even so far south. Just gather up my light orbs again, and if we're going to go into marching order going upstairs, put me I'll be right behind her. Alright. Is everyone content to uh, transition to the upstairs? Okay, now that those are finally gone, she's gonna look left, right. I'm gonna take the ball. Oh my god, don't... Oh my god, why are you talking from a... <laughs> Listen, it's payment for de in dealing with the ghosts. Ah yes, sacrilege! All right, so you're you're scooping out the coins. She she's gonna leave the only one that. Uh, yeah, speaking of coins, left. didn't didn't that goblet like that little imp have like ten gold on her? Or something. I mean, uh, what 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 did you say, Hoff? I you got cut off a little bit. Uh, she's just gonna leave the one sif left. Take the rest as payments. Uh, okay. Make a wisdom save. Alright. <laughs> Much like, like Lucille before you, you feel a sort of dark displeasure emanating from the statue and it settles in your chest. Hey, what's the big deal? She, she says and half sound just follows the others. You know what? Rather than disadvantage, I'm betting this is like, um, oh, what's the opposite of blessing? Is it Bane? Or something like that? Oh, what? You just looked at it for exhaustion stuff? Okay. Yeah, I forgot that we don't get rid of exhaustion in a long rest like normal. No. No, we yeah, don't. Sal Scow is going to take some of those rules for sieves, but joke's on her. I'm playing a cat. I I don't I don't want her to take like that whole like you can't recover exhaustion on a long rest. Oh no like... no that's happening. We're going into the cursed wood. But still like I it's it, 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 it's a non-factor because I'm annoying. playing Holly. It's annoying though that you can't recover an exhaustion on a long rest. It's not annoying. It just forces you on a short rest to uh, get some milk. It's fine. It's fine. I'm just saying, like, in an exhaustion-heavy game, it really hurts to not be able to just take one off for a long rest. No, I get you, but I think uh, Shivs is going to be uh, Bork's, uh, like, expert mode. Saving she Borks. Yeah, well, she learned all of her mistakes from Borks, and now is putting us on another continent and is uh, going to Dark Souls mode. 
seems accurate. Mm hmm. Like, the equivalent, Borks is the equivalent of handing our uh, older brother the controller. Yet, in this one, we just get the controller handed back because he has to go to work. Uh, no, I'm in Anne Orlando, and I don't know what I'm doing. Anyway, so shall we go forward? I think we're on the upper levels now. Yep. Yeah, I was just waiting for uh, Saban to... Oh, I was filling the air while Saban was moving tokens. Oh, no, I moved yeah. tokens while yeah. ago. He already moved us, so... Yeah. So yeah, you guys are on the second floor. There's a bit of, like, an overlook to the church, and then there are a pair of solid doors ahead of you. Are we? That means the my map, my thing never changed. I gotta refresh. No, no, uh, scroll up. Yeah, it, it just looks the same. It's just like oh, an okay. Now, I, I thought this was the exact same thing, so let me move my lights back around. So I only have them piled on me so I can move. Yeah, yeah, that's fine. Mm hmm. Yeah. Great. The door's up, uh, up this way, head of a head of where Aelin's token is. I was just exploring the rest of it. I can't see. I know that the, yeah. you guys are on like an overlook over exactly where you used to be. Yeah, yeah. That that's the exact same floor we were just on, just a a lower view, uh, lower yeah. view of us, because you can see the same stage and everything. See. Yeah. So the two doors north of you are the the new part. And yeah. Norman and Vorn are like coming up this side now. Yeah, I can't. You stupid light. I'm getting so, a lot of lag on this uh, screen I'm for some best. reason. It's yeah, me best. Me best. Back. me best. Me best. All right, Norman will like look across from you and give you like some hand signals at the door. Saving spells, douchebag. Me best. Me best. Wow, rude. <laughs> wow. Guess who has? Uh, guess who has advantage on their next attack to hit you? I, I'm. I'm just sad that no one understood that reference. I sure didn't. You know. All right. So, was actually are you ready to kick the door in? Because what does his hand signals mean? <laughs> it looks like he's trying to say like, "Kick the door in." Oh, okay. And then he starts counting down like three, two, one. Whoosh, 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 whoosh. Do I have advantage because you, I have another fighter yeah. with me? Don't need I'm to roll. You, it's yeah. just a door. Boof. I guess it's gonna be real embarrassing Boof. for Norman when he uh, like tries to open it and just doesn't be able to kick it down. Hello. Hello. Are you going to attempt to attack me as well? He doesn't attempt to attack you, but he does cast a spell that hits you and Lucille. Oh boy, what save do I Color make Color spray. Color spray. It's, uh, I don't think you guys get a save, actually. He just rolls uh, oh. a bunch of dice to blind you. Uh, yeah, it doesn't have see. a save. Seven, and then fucking Sif, what's your maximum HP? Uh, oh, my maximum HP? Or I it's guess your 11. current. Alright, so yeah, you are you are both blinded for a turn. Oh Enjoy. no, he casted the Aurora Borealis at us. How did you do that? Alright. And initiative time. Oh Can boy. Can you clear the turn order? Uh, nope. You, you get, you, it'll auto-update. Oh, okay. okay it didn't see. used to. I do there's now. Oh boy! And there's a seventeen. It didn't, it didn't oh, update. A I had my I have myself selected and everything, but I'm still thirteen, yeah. even though I rolled a ten. Okay. You're a Where's liar you? and a thief. I don't know what's there. working for the NPCs. It worked for me. I, I you just... didn't select yourself, Stray. You selected a light. Motherfucker. Yeah. <laughs> so, so saving the skull. I mean, does that mean I have to do like roll one d four and subtract off? Uh, like, yes. Actually, I think Bane only affects attack rolls and saving throws. Let me look. Let's find out. Let's I see. Was... Whenever the target makes attack roll or saving throw. 
I'm glad I was right in guessing it was Bane, though. Yes. You and Aelin are both Baned. God damn your exhaustion. Yoo-hoo. All right, is everyone updated? All right. Boom, descending. Conversely, do I have protection from evil? No, you probably have less. No, oh. you have neither. You don't know what you have on you. Uh, so, this fellow is going to start out by... So he doesn't really need to cast Bane on you guys. You did that to yourself. So he will cast Chill Touch on the Foxo with advantage, because she's blind. Yeah. Well, turns a, a critical miss into a hit. So you take two necrotic damage, and you can't regain hit points until uh, the start of his next turn. He's going to go one, two, three, four. All the way to the back here. Aelin. Remember that companions count as difficult terrain if you want to move through them. I don't believe you can see him from there. I can't? I mean, I'm oh, looking through your token okay, and you was, can't. Yeah, you, I wasn't paying attention to the field. It's fine. Uh, yeah, she's just going to ready an action and miss the effect. She go, if he comes back into so, field of view again. Okay. You see you. You're blind. Okay. So I know I was facing forward. Can I use like the handrails like a guide for like getting me a little bit more forward? Oh yeah, absolutely. You'll eventually right, get a then. face full of uh, fluffy tail. How many tails do you have anyway, Seth? I don't know. How does that work in Savlands? Mm. I guess roll oh. uh one d ten minus. No wait, one d nine no, no. minus. Yeah. Uh, it just have to be two d four minus. Fucking. Uh, there should be a minus because I'm only level one. Yeah, that's what I'm thinking. I think at the most I should only have two tails. Yeah, roll two d four like minus. Yeah, two d four minus like one. I think that's. That's good for a level one. I have two tails. Swish, swish. Fluff, Why fluff. am I rolling for tails? I wasn't paying attention. Because you we were finding out how many tails you have. Because uh, uh, Lucille is blindly blopping into your back and getting a face full of them. Yeah. Wappa, wappa. <laughs> if there's any other situation, I would love those. But it's not. So I will, can you advancing and I'm a little bit blind. Let's roll a scatter dice. Uh, let's see, one, two, three. Are really the only direction I can go? Yep. I'm moving forward one. All right, so you and blow I your way past take... Sif and into the room. And then you, like, and trip will... over a chair. And then I will take the dodge action. Smart. All right. Spirit. Z, a spirit, lunges out from uh, a side room and just makes a fucking Herculean leap up at your feet. Uh, let's see. Oh, I need to get a stab lock back out. No, not you. But misses no. and collapses back onto the ground. All right, Sif, you are also blind. Can I move forward five feet and then make a defensive stance? Yes. I will do so, and then I will instinctively move my... There we go. Oh, wait, I can only move these in a place that I can see, so they all stay where they are. Never mind. Never mind. <laughs> so this one stays here, this one stays here. I don't remember the exact positioning, it's but... Fine. I think this one was here. Yeah. All right. Z. Oh, I guys, guys. More speaking. <laughs> I don't like. 
distract them or something. Alright. Vorin is going to take the opportunity to take a step back and shoot down over the railing at this guy. Nope. Norman, however, is going to heroically charge forward. One, two, three, four, five. And whack. He swings his axe but misses. And the acolyte. And let's see. Does the blindness wear off at the end of your turn or I'm pretty sure his it's turn? the end, not the beginning. For his but, turn. Yeah, it makes the, sense the, if it was the at the duration, end. Though. The duration is one round, so the one round has passed. Yeah, the one round, but I'm pretty sure that it ends at the end of his, right? Or is it round? Yeah, that would be yeah. one full round, the end of his yeah. turn. Okay, so you yeah, guys. So we're, we're good battling. after his turn. Yeah, so you still have dis uh, you still have advantage to hit us, mm -hmm. unless he decides to blind us again. I have I my mean... shield of triumph. I mean, he could step forward and do it for Ryan Reigns. No, well, would he range. want to do that, or would he want to cast lightning bolt? Yeah, that'd be he doesn't brutal. Have lightning bolt. <laughs> uh, no, yeah. I think what he's going to do is he's going to cast chill touch on Lucille. So uh, he has disadvantage from a couple sources, but also advantage. So it's just a straight roll. Yep. <laughs> nope. All right. Luckily, because of your defensive action and Norman's interference, uh, you are saved from a critical that would have put you right in the ground. Yeah. Alright, and so, yeah, as the blindness wears off, you two are able to get a good look at this ghoulish fellow. He's clearly a spectral creature, much like the spirits you have encountered thus far, but he wears a iron crown around his head, and he has great flowing robes of purple and black. Clearly a cleric of some sort. I was going to take a shot of spirit. Alright. Uh, can you see him? Oh, oh, the normal spirit. Right, yep. Alright, you wing him. Anything else? And... She's going to move a little bit closer here, and that's... Alright. Lucille, you're not blind anymore. Alright. Alright. Freaking Acolyte. That wasn't nice. I get you probably don't like your temple being desecrated like this and coming back as a spirit, but we're trying to cleanse it. And for that, I'm sorry, because you're also probably a follower of Kanara. And boop. And then boop. And All right. then I assume the first one, even with like a minus four, wouldn't still hit. Uh yes. However, he's going to use a reaction on you. Uh when your blade slices into him, and indeed it does strike true. Uh he will bellow at you in an ancient elvish roar. Then flames, dark flames, erupt from his body and engulf you. Oh my god, no. Oh, you're hellish rebuking me. Yeah. Ugh, save me. That's such a shit roll, thankfully. Yeah, yeah. That, that could have actually killed you, technically speaking. Yeah. Right, so you Fucking take Lord. four damage. Yeah, that's half of my are, HP. You are rebuked quite hellishly. And then, yeah, the second attack will miss outright. Thanks for getting him a second level spell. Uh, that's actually only a first level spell. Is it? Yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah, oh. it's it's a really good spell, and Keith because you're not cast it at second level, which is brutal. But and because uh, you're not dead, uh, Saven is blue balled. I am. It's true. I fucking won't be able to get a boner for like three days now. All right. Uh, Spirit is going to. You know, one, two, three, four, 
come up here and attack for him. And hit for three Demagios. He curses and runs. Wow. Yeah, he's just wearing ring mail. The shittiest armor in the game. Sif. There's a big booty bad guy up here. You guys good, or you want me to come back? I'm fine. Go. I'll hold this one off. Minimit. 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 I'm going to move all the light after I'm done charging in. And then we go. All right. Uh, make oh, a it, dexterity who was, check. Who was... Who's the one going, I'm fine? I, I assume it was the Hobgoblin, right? Yeah, it was Warren. Yeah, make a okay. dexterity check. Norman gets a pretty little light above his head. Aww. Alright, so as you leap over the table, it just breaks and shatters. It's so damn old and uncared for. However, you're able to keep your balance and jump onto a chair and ride it down onto the ground. And to act on the Graceful. Yay! I hit guy. I did it. Um, I, I want this roll to be remembered for the next three ones that are coming up. That at one point I rolled a fourteen. Hey, you know what? Prob's gonna. Ha Wait, no, he actually uses reaction. Never mind. Yeah, sadly, I cannot just immediately rebuke you. <laughs> yeah, that. That's not how that works. Nope. I know hellish rebuke. All right, Z. Ain Warren says he's got this, and no other spirits appeared, so... Flutter, flutter, flutter. Your flutter, 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 flutter. Clatters off the stone behind him. Warren drops his bow, pulls a Kriegs. Huh, misses. He didn't have it. Norman. Huh. Oh no. He didn't have it. Spectral Acolyte is going to try and finish off Lucille. And disadvantage. Alright. Uh, wait, only for a spell, I guess. It didn't no. matter. Ooh. Well, guys, it's been fun. I guess Lucille's going to die. <laughs> All right. Can you use... Nope. Um... Second wind while unconscious. No. Nope. No. This is a bonus action. It doesn't matter it... because I have ghostly touched on me, so I can't recover HP. No need to be snarky. It was just a question. I know. And I'm answering you. Not you. Yeah, all right. So yeah, the, I... the spirit reaches out, grabs Lucille's neck, and you see the flesh blacken, and then she drops to the ground, <laughs> choking on herself. Let me just go ahead and up Still this exhaustion help. counter. <laughs> yeah. Aelin. Pew. Alright. Hit. Wing. Not a kill, though. And then she's gonna move the inside, uh, finally. Alright. So, Z, uh, no, he has a spectral, a ghostly touch, and a chill touch. He, he has actually cast the spell chill touch. Uh, On previously. me! Oh, so I can still recover HP. Yeah, you can. Uh, and now Sif can as well, because now he's had a turn. Okay. I thought they were the same one. No. Alright. So, Lucille, make a death saving throw. Yeah. We'll have a minus 1d4 on this. Yeah. Yeah. <sighs> 20, 20, do it. You're the hero. It's true. Death Double save. 20. Oh. You're not the hero. All right. It, it wasn't failure. a one. It's true. Uh, the spirit will attack Vorn. Uh, miss. Sif. I'm the hero. And I don't have anything to help. Dungeoneer's pack certainly doesn't include a health potion. Nope. But I can longsword him in the face. You can. You do have that power. I can't. You could have, but did not. 
If only now you guys understand why I played an alchemist and then a barbarian. Alchemist forces people to roll against my attacks and a barbarian always has advantage. Hey, think of it this way. He didn't get to hellish rebuke you. That's true, but also... Speaking of people I, who might I, get I, hellish I, rebuked... Uh, uh, the, oh. Do it. Do the heals. You're, you're the hero. Alright. Hair pull of healing. Gonna uh, just grab Lucille's hair and uh, pull it back and okay. loot her one hit point on hand. Can, can I make a suggestion before you do this? Can you ready an action to do that, like, if he attack, tries to attack me? Too light. Okay. Alright, Lucille. You feel the tightness in your throat releasing and you're able to breathe once more. But outside, Vorin, do you got this? Oh god. So Vorin only... swings his sword, it strikes the wall, bounces out of his hand, and clatters down the stairs. Alright, someone help the hobgoblin. Alright, Norman, can you do it? You do it! He swings in, strikes a creature, and then immediately gets Mega Hellish rebuked. Let's just go ahead and roll that. Boosh! Uh, Norman, you'd probably like to succeed the saving throw if you can. Okay. Norman gasps and yells out as his cloak, uh, now a normal, like, traveling cloak, catches on fire and smoke starts billowing off of him. And the Acolyte is going to uh, try and bad touch Sif, because he thinks Lucille's still down. Cool. Yeah. Yay, it worked! Alright. Uh, yeah, I did it. Alright, yeah, you get groped by this guy. He Ouchies. sears your flesh. Aelin. Yeah, she's going to take a look at the hobble gobble and fire an arrow at the ghosty. Alright. Nice. There you go. That destroys it instantly. Warren breathes a sigh of relief and gives you a thumbs up. Once more, he is saved by women. She's going to return the thumbs up and then just duck inside of the room again. Sounds good. Lucille. Alright, well, first up, gonna use a bonus action to second wind. Yeah. Good so choice. Good, good roll. choice. Good roll. Yeah. Did about average on it. Plus six. And tell you what, I'm just going to ready an action to swing after someone else has. That way I don't get hellish rebuked. Wait, let me rephrase this. After someone else hits. And I also stand up, yes. Okay. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Hi ho, slot for. Uh, Sif, speaking of people who could trigger uh, any potential hellish rebukes. First, uh, first thing, second win. Overhealed, should be 11. Now then. A way to attack him that doesn't cause damage. You could grapple him. Why? I could always cast Suggestion. That is a One thing you could do. One creature I can see. It is a creature that can hear and... Uh, oh, it can't understand me. Right. 
I will ask it if it understands Sylvan in Sylvan. If it does, it does not respond. You can make an insight mm. check to see if it, uh, you know, makes any like eye movements of acknowledgement. No, you don't know. Savin, stop asking me to roll things. All right, mm. that's that's not what I do. Okay. All right. Let's see. Is uh so this is a spectral figure, right? Uh, yeah. No, that's dumb. I was thinking I could just pick up my shield and bull rush it into a wall, just push it away. Get out of here. I mean, it's all it's he's got his back up to a wall already. He's not going anywhere. Uh, got to hit hellish rebuke, dude. <laughs> but yes. I don't think my character would actually know that hitting him makes you fire fireball, especially cuz I think I was blind that turn. Right. You you just watched both me and Norman do it. Yeah, it, it has happened twice already. <sighs> this is cheaty doodles. Um... This is cheaty doodles. The fighter said as four people are gang banging this guy. <laughs> yeah, I know, right? Uh... Also, it's your turn <laughs> to be heal after you anyway. Oh, well. Nothing ventured, nothing gained. All right, you swing and you slash. And you deal him three to Magios. And Z. Then... Hey, hey, ready to action. Oh, yeah, that's right. You're right. You're right. You, got, you got one. Doesn't matter. Didn't hit. Cause... Yeah. All right, Z. Oh, he's not rebuking Seth. Nope. Hmm. I'm Hi. special. Well, there's a gap. Stop All right, you hit. Roll damage. All right, you do him four damage, and he will rebuke you because fuck you. No, he doesn't. He's out of spells. Vorton. Alright. Low level NPC with a longbow. Can you do it? No. Slightly higher level NPC with a great axe. Can you do it? Yeah. Alright. Norman hefts up his axe, puts out the fires still clinging to him, and swings it around and chops into the ghost's head. Severing it cleanly in twain. The two halves of the spirit fall to either side. One smashes into Lucille and just vaporizes, and the other crumples into the floor. Ew. I think I have ghost blood on me now. And then it's gone. It's yep. better. It is defeat. Better than ghost blood in you. Yes, I suppose. And uh, <clears throat> as the uh, specter falls, its crown hits the ground with a remarkable solidarity. Just rolls across the floor and dings into the wall. I will bend down and... Actually, no, hold on. Do I have Arcana or anything like that? No. I do not have a train, so I wouldn't be able to, like, just see if I can't see if it's just magical. Yeah, you but would need the detect it. magic ability for that. I will just pick it up with my hand, then. Alright. Look it over my... You feel a tingle of power emanating from this thing. Well, now. This is interesting. Probably magical. Maybe. Definitely something tingly about it. Well... Um... Who 
was closest to you, like... Cute elf boy? I'll look Norman like a... You are the one that killed it. You want to wear the crown, or can I? <laughs> no, I ain't a crown kind of man. You go ahead. All right, then. I'll just slip it on on top of my head between my ears. All right. Dink. Yay, random magic items. Well, guess we'll see what happens with it later. And you wonder why you're banged. So, hey, now, you did the exact same thing and got blessed for it. I don't even know what happened, because I don't. I certainly don't have bless. All right, all right, you don't have bless. I, also, I did it correctly, thank you. Yes. I would like a good minute to rest after that. Definitely feeling a lot of uh, exhaustion from that fight. Well then, I will take first watch. Yeah, if you guys want to camp out again, you can do so. Uh, Norman will suggest that before you do, however. Uh, ladder to the bell tower is right there. Maybe we should cut the bell while we got the chance. Uh, if there is there anything up there, I suppose. He looks up, I and will... you can you can like actually see the underside of the bell from where you're standing. I'm just going to whip out my long sword and cut the rope. All right. So yeah, you can clamber up there and slice the rope that's holding the bell up, and it will, boom, boom, make one last pitiful bong as it hits the bottom of the tower, and then you hear something in the stone just crack heavily and a big chunk of the tower just collapses outside and the bell goes and, tumbling off into the yard. And then we just hear Vorin, Fool of a Took! <laughs> no, instead he's just going to cross his arms and say, That'll stop that bell from ringing, that's for sure. Yeah. Well, you know, hopefully. Hopefully, you know, hopefully it doesn't attract any more uh, monsters, cutie. I'll go over here and take first watch. Yeah, let's uh, take a little bit of a break and <clears throat> make our way out of town then. Lucy, you should probably dress for a bit longer. I mean, I would love to, but unfortunately, sleeping in the wild and in this place doesn't exactly relieve exhaustion that well, you know? Gotta do it in a more civilized place. Speak for yourself. Alright, so if you guys would like to take a short rest, uh, those of you who have hit dice remaining are free to burn them. Yeah. Uh, Norman will and I will attune to this yourself. crown while in that short rest. Yeah, yeah you will. Does second wind refresh on a short rest or a long rest? Uh, short rest. sure do. Okay, so I'll just sit here in the pew and wait. I can't wait to see how this crown fucks me up. Alright. Oh no, the bimbo crown. What you wanted all along. The sigil of Torhenna. Increasing a crown of iron, pierced with a lance, grows with a faint mystical light. Grants plus one to spell attack and spell do you see. In addition, you always have cure wounds and inflect wounds prepared. And I can cast each one of those without spending a spell slot. Ooh, that's nice, actually. That's actually really good to have on me. Uh, what's the, um... spell casting ability with those? Well, that's a good point. Uh, as with any item, unless it specifies it's charisma. Charisma. That's great. I have a plus two modifier to charisma. Nice. So let me just add to my spell sheet. Inflict wounds and cure wounds. Yeah. Mind you, when it says inflict, you cast one of those spells. It's an either or, not a one of each. Ah, it's an either or. I thought it was one of each. No. You can cast one of those. Okay, yeah, one of those spells each day. From the wording, it sounds like you can cast uh, both of them each day, but I get you. 
No. Yeah, just keep cure wounds on your person. Oh yeah. yeah. Or inflict wounds. That's a fucking brutal spell. Oh yeah, it is very 3D brutal. Three D ten. Uh, it's very bu uh, brutal for like our beginning levels. I mean, inflict wounds is only first level as well, isn't it? Yeah. I mean, it's still there, like possibility of thirty damage. That spell is broke AF. Mm. It just requires you to be an evil cleric. You don't even have no, to be doesn't. evil in you uh, just you can just get it five E anymore. Well, no, yeah. Yeah. you do have to be evil to use it. No, it's not that you um, it it's not built into the spell requirement. It's just using that is evil. It's you, true. You, you as a, you as a player are evil, not not your character. Yeah. Make a melee spell attack. I guess I should actually make my spell casting ability charisma then. Mm -hmm. Because, dude. So that, in that, that attack bonus I actually get a plus one from this one. It, mm -hmm. So that's a plus five. So, it stays in line with whatever else I got. So that's good. All right. Let's see where we that. So yeah, as you guys bunker down in this old church. Uh, you can feel that throughout the course of your short rest, this sort of baleful unhallowing begins to unravel itself. And uh, Sif, why don't you go ahead and make a religion check, since you seem to be uh, super, super good at that. Uh, why would you do this, Saban? I thought we were friends. Do it fair. Natural 20! See, you're so fucking good. All right, Sif, you are convinced that by uh, midnight tonight, the unhallowing will be completely removed. And once that is done, Torhenna will count as civilized space, no longer infested with monsters. That might not be peopled. You can take full advantage of long rests within the city walls. Hey, guys. So, Kinrin uh, has once more returned to this place. We have banished the evil, and uh, we should be able to rest here without uh, worrying about spoopy dead. Oh, thank goodness. Well, then, should take full advantage of it. I am. Uh, a few days would, uh, wouldn't be remiss for recovering after all that. Surely the goddess wouldn't mind if you pulled up a bedroll in front of her statue and had a nice nap. I certainly hope so. That's where I feel safest. That in the corner. Corners are good. Corners are safe. <laughs> you see a far away look as we're remembering something really tragic. Uh-huh. Angry bun. Alright. So, are we taking a long rest then to get rid of exhaustion? I'd need to take too long rest to get rid of exhaustion. Because I sure don't mm. want... I sure don't want that disadvantage on ability checks anymore. So, what you're saying is 16 hours. I mean, we can only take one long rest a day. Yeah. yeah. You must take two days of rest mm. in Torana to fully recover. Let's try and see if there's anything in the town that we could salvage. Yeah, let's look over the town, see if there's a uh, stuff we can't find. Never know what you might see. Aw, Z, that's precious. Uh, so yeah, uh, if you guys want to spend two days here in town, uh, you can all make two, or sorry, you can all make one investigation check just for like searching all through the town. See if you can make two persuasion checks to try and uh, bury something somewhere. Can I make a perception? Why? Instead? The first one was so good. Oh, I forgot it was me. Uh, can you see. what? Can I make a perception instead? So you say investigate, investigation. Investigation. 
I'm not very good at... Holy I was gonna say, can I assist someone, but I... I don't think I'm you should, doing honestly. It by myself. Yeah, it's better off doing it yourself. I already have disadvantage anyway. I just tripled it. Fucking fine! <laughs> the retards are so good at this. What's wrong with the rest of you guys? Uh, let's see. So, yeah, that's all uh, y'all. Okay, Aelin's gonna discover something. Uh, Z? Let me look around here for a moment. Alright, uh, yeah. Z, as you're meandering through town, uh, you find a... Uh, a storefront that seems relatively intact, much more so than anything around it, and that draws you inside, and as you look around, of course, most of the wares this place might have once had have long since given way to age, rotted away, or crumbled. Uh, but you do find in a back room a what we would see is like a like a clothes wrapper a big bundle of plastic but it's made out of this incredibly sheer fine silk and it's wrapping around a beautiful dress made for a woman maybe slightly larger than yourself but not by much really it is uh, laced with gold and silks and is a deep blue and green color it seems to have survived the passage of age remarkably well. Um, if it's a bit too big for me, over in, um, hmm, are there any other party members who it might? Fit on? Uh, maybe Lucille? I think Sif, you're a little bit bigger than Lucille, right? You're mm -hmm. tall lass. So yeah, maybe, maybe Lucille or Aelin. Put it on me, see what magic transformation effect it'll do this time. Alright, yeah, get the princess in her pretty dress. I mean... I was already putting up, like, uh, li little prop walls around Lucille to give her a sleepy corner. So I guess I'll just, um, drape the dress over one of them for when she wakes up. Alright. Lucille, all of a sudden one morning you wake up to find yourself surrounded by, like, little bits of wall and there's a beautiful dress hanging up next to you. Well now, this is, uh, interesting. And I will, uh, pull the dress over top of the wall and while still under the wall kind of a thing, we'll, uh, put the dress on. See how it fits. Alright. It fits remarkably well, as if it was tailored just for you. Wonderful. And then we play a waiting game, see if it actually does a magical effect. I don't think it will, but... Maybe. Might maybe. as well never. We'll see. Yeah. yeah, we'll find out. And Aelin will find something more interesting. Oh, shit. Alright, I guess I'll give you your XP uh, on your sheet, Sif. Because <clears throat> uh, with now two players gone, I think this would be a good time to call it, since you have just completed your objectives and all that. Yeah, we might actually get enough EXP to yeah. level up. Mayhaps. Who knows? Let's find out. Yeah. So. <clears throat> did you explore a new and interesting location for the first time? This chapel, yes. Yes. Did you discover a new page or a new chapter in the story of the Silverleaf Forest? I don't really think so. Nah. But it's just from the same stuff from last time. Mm. Yeah. 
Did you complete or significantly advance the quest for the Chalice of Overflowing Magic? I'm going to say yes, because now we've freed up Voron from like this town, and he can actually assist us in this Chalice of Overflowing Magic. Yes, that is a valid argument. I'll grant it. Uh, let's see. Did you acquire a permanent magic item? Yes, you acquired uh, the symbol of Torhenna. And did you defeat a legendary foe or a direct threat to a friendly settlement? Uh, yes, sort of retroactively. Uh, the spirits are no longer threatening Torhenna, which has turned it into a settlement you guys can use. Admittedly an empty one, but still. Oh, I think boy. that's a fair gimme. So, everyone mark down four experience, except for Aelin, who gets a bonus one. Till you're Yay, caught up. Already. 11 out of 10. Nice. Yeah. Well, that means you guys will have the opportunity to level up while you're here if you're willing to spend a third day. Yeah, I, I'm willing to level up. Anybody yeah. else? Yeah. Yeah. Well, um... What does level up cost us beyond time? Just a day's... a day spent in the settlement. No resources. Oh, well, well then... Good. Yeah. Yeah, no, I see no downside to leveling. Just take a day. Yep. Just need to spend a day in a in a safe settlement uh, in this little short shot. Seven, do you want to do the discovery now, or would you like to keep it for next session? If we uh, don't yeah, it'll be next session. Let's let's start out with that, so I can have time to come up with something fun. All right, let's just write down here so you don't. Level mm -hmm. two. And everyone else can go ahead and do their level business. And in the meantime, oh, if you're watching on YouTube or Twitch, thanks for tuning in. A bit of a short session, but is what it is. We'll see you next time, whenever that may be. But specifically well, Probably tomorrow. next year. <laughs> yeah, that's right. Uh, but yeah, uh, tomorrow mm -hmm. is ass, so we'll definitely see you then.